ValveTime.net. Hi, and welcome to the Valve Time News for November 25th, 2015, where we recap the latest news from Valve and the community. Remember how we mentioned that Valve News would likely pick up something in the coming weeks on our last episode? Well, maybe we jumped the gun just a little bit there, as the week was somehow a lot quieter than usual. While the Frankfurt Major Tournament we said we aren't going to cover wrapped up in Germany, a minor Dota 2 update brought about the release of the promised Axe Immortal item unlocked as the final milestone of the International 2015 Compendium. The update, which also introduced several small bug fixes, was joined by the release of the also-promised long-form comic known as The Last Castle. The 60-page comic follows Axe and his scribe Goodkind as they assault a seemingly impenetrable fortress guarded by a seemingly endless army and seemingly unbeatable mages. As Dota players know, Axe isn't one to say no to a challenge, so head on over to the comic to see just how things work out. Alternatively, if you're not one for reading, you can also check out the nominees and winners of the 5th Annual Saxi Awards, all of which were revealed at various points throughout last week. With 4 nominees per category, there's plenty of videos to investigate, so we're just going to cover the winners here. They include Microman, the winner of Best Action, A Dang Good Cop, winner of Best Short, Food Fortress, winner of Best Comedy, Together We Stand, winner of Best Drama, and It's Playtime, winner of Best Extended. These five ridiculously entertaining shorts were joined by the equally impressive best overall winner, Turbulence, which, despite being the only unfinished entry to reach the nominee stage, continues to provide entertainment value after multiple rewatches. With each watch, we steadily agree more and more with this random person on YouTube, confirming our love for one of the best Saxy entries from any and all of the competitions thus far. Links to each of the winners in a roundup article over on ValveTime.net have been provided in the video description for your convenience. Given this episode has been so short, let's round up a bunch of upcoming news, which you can expect to see arrive in the next week or so. First and foremost, a recent unauthorized leak of a Steamworks post has confirmed the autumn Steam sale will begin very soon on November 25th, with this particular sale apparently bringing about the end of daily deals and flash sales. Even though Valve will still be highlighting deals on a regular basis, publishers will reportedly only offer single discounts on games, with the highlighted periods not actually increasing or decreasing sale prices in any way. With the Team Fortress 2 Arkham Knight contest wrapping up last Monday, Valve will more likely than announce the winning item entries this coming week after spending the last week or so deciding the winners alongside Warner Brothers and Rocksteady. We're very confident the winning entries will introduce a few new favorites among the community and we're not just saying that because Nick may or may not have had something to do with their selection, but that's another story for another time. Finally, although speculation, we strongly believe the next few weeks could see Valve announce a brand new, large-scale update for Dota 2 now that the Frankfurt Major is out of the way and the company has a nice 4-5 to five month gap between significant-sized tournaments. What could the update include, however, is anyone's guess, but we're confident the introduction of Abyssal Underlord and or Arc Warden would definitely be a nice and overdue start. And that hopeful note brings us to the end of another week of Valve News. As always, be sure to check out our other content, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to follow our social media pages, and to join in on the conversations by signing up over on the ValveTime.net community forums. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.